Hello, I'm Scott and welcome to another book review with Brimbank Libraries. Today I'm going to talk about Stephen King's The Shining. Now, I haven't read every ghost story written in the 20th century, but of the ones I have, and knowing a little bit about the others, I'd be prepared to put money on The Shining being the best ghost story written in that hundred year period. The Shining, in my opinion, is the intersection of all of Stephen King's best writing abilities. His mastery of, of uh, character, his flair for tension, um, and his skill with creating horror. Uh, they just all come together in The Shining to just make a magnificent book. Now, some of you have probably seen the film uh, uh, by um, Stanley Kubrick, uh, and that was a great movie uh, with uh, Jack Nicholson playing the lead character, but the book is quite different, and in my opinion, even better than the film. Now, if you've seen the film, you know the basic storyline that uh, Jack Torrance, um, who is a sort of a failing writer and an alcoholic, something that Stephen King uh, knows very well, having been an alcoholic himself, um, he uh, takes a job uh, as a caretaker of a massive hotel called the Overlook Hotel, uh, and takes his family, his wife and his child, up there for the whole of the winter. And uh, while they're there, as the snows come in and all the roads close, they're stuck there for several months, just the three of them in this vast, eerie hotel. And Jack's son, Danny, uh, is a special child. He has a touch of something called the Shining, which is a connection to uh, the spiritual world, to the ghostly realm, if you like. And, and the longer they're there, the more it becomes clear to, particularly to Danny, but also to Jack, uh, that the uh, hotel itself uh, well, it doesn't have their best intentions at heart. It's quite a malevolent place. And the, as time elapses and the days go past, the hotel begins to seduce Jack into madness. Uh, and his son is able to see some of the things that have happened there and some of the ill things that have happened in the past of the building as things escalate. And escalate they do to a point of the novel becoming absolutely chilling. Now, I don't usually reread books, but I read this book when I was a teenager and I recently reread it as an adult and uh, it still put a shiver up my spine. So I would challenge anyone to read this book by themselves on a cold night at home when there's no one else around. Seriously, you'll be jumping at just about every noise you hear. So it's a huge, big, strong recommendation from me. Um, the Shining is a book that we have at Brimbank Libraries. We have several copies. So if you'd like one, please get in touch or reserve it online. Um, and if you do uh, get hold of a copy and you read it, uh, we would love to hear how you go with Stephen King's The Shining.